The PV850 injector is designed to simplify intracellular injection. After the physical connections on the PV850 injector are made, we can walk through the intuitive touchscreen user interface. This number indicates the loaded protocol. You are able to save up to three protocols and call them up in the settings screen. Every time the injector is activated, it will increment the injection counter. Reset this counter by simply touching it. The pump can be set to manual or timed mode as indicated here. In manual mode, the pressure valve opens and remains open as long as the injection button is pressed, the foot switch is pressed, or a 5 volt TTL pulse is triggered by an external pulse generator. In timed mode, an electronic timer controls the duration of the pressure valve stays open. The inject button, foot switch, or 5 volt TTL trigger serves only to start the timer. The injector pressure indicates the maximum pressure that will be used when the pressure is activated. The maximum that can be used is 87 psi. The compensation pressure indicates the constant low pressure that is applied to make sure that no liquid is mixed with your injection solution. The duration indicates the time that the pressure valve will be active once it is triggered. This only works when the pump mode is set to timed. Each one of these settings are controlled by touching the parameter and rotating the knob to modify the parameter. Press the knob to toggle between gross and fine tuning adjustments, indicated by the running man and the snail on the screen. Two seconds after a parameter is adjusted, it is saved into memory. If you move from one parameter to the next before two seconds, the first parameter is automatically saved into the memory as the working parameter. This parameter will be recalled on power-up. This is different from saving and loading protocols in the settings screen. The clear tip button activates a 500 millisecond burst of maximum pressure through the injection tip. This can be used if the tip becomes clogged. The inject button allows you to activate the pressure port to do your injections manually. When the port is disabled, simply touch the port on button to enable the port again. Touch anywhere in the settings button area of the screen to access the settings menu. In pump mode, you can choose either the manual or the time checkbox to determine the injection mode. In the pressure mode, you can select one of the checkboxes to set the display to either PSI or kilopascals. The self-test runs whenever the unit is powered on. To initiate a test manually, press this button. It runs a series of program diagnostics and displays results on the screen. The Save Load Protocol allows you to store three favorite parameter sets, or protocols. On the main screen, set the parameters as desired, then press one of the Save buttons. For example, press Save 1 to save the parameter as Protocol 1. To load a set of saved parameters, press the appropriate Load button. The number of the loaded protocol displays in the box in the upper left corner of the main screen. The Port Status button indicates when the pressure port is enabled. Port On indicates that the injection port is enabled. To disable the port, touch the Port On button. The button will change to Port Off. To re-enable the port, press the Port Off button again, and the button will change back to Port On. The Back button returns to the main screen. The injector is now ready to use, and you can set up your injection protocols to do your microinjections. Refer to our manual for more techniques in microinjections.